Hi there and welcome to Amp3 TV. Today I've taken a day off, well kind of, I've dodged out of the office actually and I'm going to show you the Boston Soundware speaker. What we're actually going to be doing is installing this in my home um, above the barbecue zone because the great thing about a soundware is it's a go anywhere speaker as in you can have it indoor, you can have it outdoor, it's going to perform beautifully. What we're going to be doing is putting it up with uh, Sonos' ZP120 zone um, wiring up in the house so you actually can't see the zone, the zone's going to be hidden in my loft and we'll run uh, the speaker cables out through the wall um, to the barbecue zone. Now Boston, for those of you who don't know, are a really well kept secret in many regards. Um, a very, very popular speaker manufacturer over in the States and the product's now becoming more prominent in the UK. I think you're going to see and agree um, having a look at the product, just how good quality these are. There's a lovely weight and quality to the product. And for anyone that's actually aware of um, the Boston iPod docks, you should be aware that Boston take an approach to iPod docks is very different. They actually design the speaker first and then put in the dock functionality later, meaning that you genuinely do get the best sound available. So I haven't tried these outside yet. I don't know what they're going to sound like once we pop them on the wall and above the barbecue zone, but I'm really hoping they're going to bring a bit more life to my garden parties. Anyway, we'll keep you updated with the install and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. And hopefully it'll give you a lot more confidence when you're buying the product, knowing that even with DIY skills as limited as mine, I've managed to do it, so therefore you can too. The first task is to get your mounting bracket, a handy pen, and you can mark it on the wall where you want it to go. Um, obviously if you were taking this a bit more seriously than I am, you probably want to do it with a spirit level. But one of the nice things about the Boston uh, speaker that we'll show you in a second is it is fully adjustable so you can actually change the angle on a nice little kind of ball mount socket swivel thing. So, time for some drilling. So, drilled the holes, how are we going to get the speaker to stay on the wall? Dead simple, roll plugs. So just insert the roll plug into the hole, give it a little tap just to make sure it's sunk in properly. There you go. You can use a hammer or in this case the back end of a screwdriver for time. And there you go, the roll plugs are in, they're ready now to get them out, screw them in and then we can pop the speaker on. Perfect. So bracket two is now in the wall, I'm just going to pop this one on, as you can see the speaker here has got a little swivel mount, it's just in a little ball socket there so you can adjust it completely. And all I'm going to do is pop this bit in there and there's a little attachment here, you just pop a little screw through there, screws into there and it stops it then moving. And to tighten the little ball joint so it doesn't continuously move, you've got a little screw there, again just a straightforward Phillips screwdriver and you're sorted. Next task now is to run the cable to get to the speakers from the Sonos which is going to be hosted up in my loft. Now my loft's pretty tight so we're unable to film in there because it's also pretty dark but uh, it's not going to be very hard. We just measure out the right length of cable we need and we're going to run it through a little hole in the wall there and then straight out to the speakers. So progress report number three, um, as you can see the last thing we had to do is connect the wiring which I've just done, it's dead simple, two little push buttons at the back, split your wiring, pop them in, make sure you've connected them the same way as you have with the Sonos, 
And now all we need to do is a couple of tacks in for the wiring, run it along the top of the wall here, and it's done. Connect up the other one. We'll show you how simple it is to then connect it up on uh, either an iPhone or a CR200. Okay, so we're looking for the new barbecue Sonos zone. So what we're going to do in here is go into system settings, going to hit add a zone. Now we have actually pressed these buttons on the other one, so if you give it a second it should recognize it. So this comes through to a connecting screen and then you go into connected to a zone player. All you do is press next and you can choose the zone player name. So we're looking garden would be okay. Uh, we'll hit enter new because I want my one to be called Barbecue. Okay, zone player was named Barbecue. Done. Now, if we go back here and you hit the zone button, you can now see a new zone, which is ready for updating. Let's hit the button and the Sonos system does it all for you. But there we are. That's literally taken us what, half an hour, 45 minutes. We've installed the barbecue zone and we've wall mounted the outdoor speakers. How good's that? So, as you can probably hear, the speakers are in. We've located the barbecue on the Sonos Zone. Got the barbecue on now, got my tunes in the garden. It's as simple as that and it's taken us 45 minutes. And that was probably with a bit of faffing about. So take a bit of confidence from that. If we can do it, you can do it. And if you've got any problems, give us a shout. Be sure to check out the technology on advanced MP3 players at www.amp3.co.uk Thanks very much for watching and look forward to seeing you again soon.